diagnosed each year. But there's a more serious form of skin cancer called melanoma that's diagnosed in just over 40,000 people. Doctors insist this potentially fatal disease is preventable if you take the necessary precautions. I came to see Dr. Katz just for a routine checkup for, for acne, for just dermatology, dermatology reasons. And he found something on my eyebrow. He thought it looked strange. I... After a thorough exam and a biopsy, Lizzie Smith was diagnosed with a type of skin cancer called basal cell carcinoma. I was 27 at the time. I'm 28 now. I was 27 then. I couldn't believe it when they called and told me that, that I had cancer. 27 is young for a diagnosis of cancer, but not necessarily for skin cancer which can strike at any age based largely on risk factors and exposure to the sun or skin hazards. The incidence of melanoma is certainly related to sun exposure, so people really have to be careful in the sun. Sunscreens greater than 15, wearing proper clothing, and avoiding the sunburns is essential in reducing your risk for developing skin disease. One in five Americans at some point in their life will develop skin cancer, but melanoma is largely a disease that's ignored in America. Doctors insist if patients pay attention to the risk factors and means of prevention, it could be a matter of life and death. Patients should remember the ABCDs of melanoma. Asymmetry in the shape of the mole, B for the change in the border lines, color changes, and the actual diameter. Conventional wisdom is if it's greater than a pencil eraser, it needs to be checked. Many recognize the sunspots that are caused by extensive sun exposure a stark comparison to the skin areas that don't get much sun. And the moles are often elevated and lighter than the sunspots and should be properly examined each year to make sure there are no changes. If you detect an early melanoma in over 90% of the cases, it's completely curable. But if you let it progress, people die from it. Now, skin cancer is expected to cause an estimated 9,200 deaths this year. While that may not seem like a large number compared to deaths caused by other cancers, doctors believe it's still too high for a disease so preventable. Today and tomorrow, there will be free screenings throughout the entire city. All you have to do to find out the nearest location is dial 212-237-3900. Once again, that's 212-237-3900. Now, for more information about this medical story and others, all you have to do is log on to our website at newschannel4.com and take a beautiful tour of our health center.